Alan Solar, Share the Passive Income Guru in this video tutorial is going to explain to you the power of hedging and how never to blow a Forex account again. Right, so I need to explain to you what hedging is. So hedging is basically placing a, a, a trade in the opposite direction of a current trade that is open with the exactly the same uh, size lots that you used in your current open trade. So let's say you have a trade open euro US dollar and it's a sell position at 0 0.22 uh, and let's say that trade goes south. Now instead of closing it in a loss what you can do is you can open a sell position on 0 0.2. What this will do is it will freeze your exposure. It will freeze your, the amount of money that is being used in trades so that you can analyze the chart and it will give you an, an opportunity to make decisions emotionlessly. Okay, so how you would do that is in the top right hand corner of your MT4 there is a plus sign. You would need to click on the plus sign and generally if you've never done this before it will usually come up with the first uh, pair that is listed in your quotes, which for me is the AUD USD. So what you would need to do is you would need to change that to the trade to the pair that you want to hedge on. In our case, it's Euro US dollar. So you would need to click on the Euro US dollar and see that it's changed over here. You would then need to um, use the exact same lot size that you used in the trade. Uh, in the new trade that uh, you want to hedge against in the old trade. So in this case, it is 0 0.22. So you would go back here and you would type in here, generally speaking, if you've never done this before, it will say there 0 0.00. And you must make sure that market execution, that the trade type is market execution. It mustn't be on buy limit, sell limit, buy stop or sell stop. It must be market execution. Okay. And then you would put in here your lot size, which is 0 0.22. And then make sure that you are doing the trade in the right direction. So always go back to your screen and make sure, because generally speaking, when you're hedging for the first time, your emotions are in a tiz, okay? And uh, you, you've got a memory uh, like, um, like Dory. So, uh, and we don't want you to be like Dory, okay? We want you to make good emotionless decisions, okay? So we are going to do a sell trade so you open it up everything is saved okay you don't have to start again and then you would click on the sell button i'm not going to click on it because i'm already hedged uh, on this trade as you can see at the bottom of the screen so i'm using a very safe martingale ea so let me explain to you why my ea is so safe so let's go back here oh, i'm on the wrong currency maybe if i choose the right currency we can see the trade. So normally a Martingale EA places trades at equal distances apart from each other. So it will normally be between 10 and 15 pips apart. As you can see, the distance between my trades are not 14 pips. Okay, they change all the time. And this is what makes our EA very different to anybody else's. Okay, and it's a fairly safe Martingale EA. And occasionally, on the odd occasion, you'll need to jump in uh, and change the settings. There is no such thing as 100% passive income it doesn't exist get it out of your mind okay so i mean even property property is not 100 percent passive you need to actively be involved with your property you need to fix and maintain your property and you need to fix and maintain your tenants sometimes so it's not 100 percent passive bitcoin is also not passive there is no such thing as 100 percent passive income uh it just doesn't exist so just get it out of your mind and just know that on the very odd occasion you'll need to um, change your settings on your EA and that's okay. It gives you a, 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 a fabulous opportunity to make a lot of money. Okay, so when you have lots and lots of trades open, no need to panic. Panicking is a choice. Okay, being calm is a choice. So let's be calm and let's do the right thing and let's make more money than we would normally do if the EA was trading when it was trading autonomously. Okay, automatically. Okay, so what did I do? The, the currency the uh, currency trended down my ea started opening up positions and i eventually decided that on 20 percent equity i needed to place a hedge trade so what did i do i decided to add up all my lot sizes that the ea that 
that the EA had made. So I took 0 0.22, added it to 0.30. Do this in an Excel spreadsheet because it becomes easy. Right, so as you can see, I've added up all my lot sizes and it comes to 34.64. So if we go back to my, um, goes back to my, uh, uh, my hedge, you can see that I placed a trade in the opposite direction at 34.64. So what has happened to my drawdown? Nothing. Nothing is going to happen. It's going to be exactly the same. My open trades here, that figure is not going to move. So what is going to happen if the currency decides to go further um, down, uh, down? If uh, the, the price of the of the uh, the, the strength of the US dollar gets stronger and the price of the Euro, US dollar decreases. Basically, the, US, the Euro has decreased uh, its uh, value against the US dollar. So what will happen in trading terms? What will happen is, is that this sell position is going to get bigger and all my buy positions here, okay, are also going to get bigger but in a red negative. So this is going to go more blue okay and these are going to go more red the numbers are going to increase but my equity over here is going to remain the same so when do i close out the hedge when is the right time to close out the hedge so what i do is i basically go onto a day chart and i go and look for points of support and resistance so as you can see here there is a point okay of support support means so when you stand on the floor you are supported when you touch the ceiling you are resisted okay the, so the floor supports you so this is called a support line so i go left and i look for other points of support and wherever there seems to be a commonality okay of support and resistance i draw my lines as you can see there's support here which is the same support over here so I draw my line over there. So these are the various different support and resistance lines. Okay, they're just an indication for me to understand if the currency is going to, it could, the price could rebound off that level, but I don't base my trading on that. I base my trading on uh, the doji and uh, my moving averages, which is mainly my eight exponential moving average. Right, so it's time for an ad break. And this is where I tell you about my free Forex course. And this is going to help you to trade emotionlessly. My Forex course is based on uh, the doji candlesticks. Now candlesticks is a 400 year old uh, tried and tested strategy developed by the Japanese rice traders who were the most sophisticated and most successful traders of all time. Now on the screen now is flashing uh, my course which is located on my channel, my telegram channel. If you don't have telegram, download it. It's an app like WhatsApp but better and you uh, load it onto your phone. The instructions are on the, um, on the, uh, uh, the screen right now. And uh, also in the comment section on the video in YouTube, scroll below the video and there's a comment section, it says comments or more information. Just open up the more information section and in there is the instructions or are the instructions for how you can, uh, are the instructions on how you can, um, oh. On the instructions on how to join my uh, my channel and also on how to uh, go to my website the link to my website uh, to learn how to read a forex chart so what we want to know is we want to know when to close the hedge when is the right time to close the hedge so i normally analyze my my, my chart and read a chart on a four hour chart so we change it over here to four hours and this is the methodology that I use. Let me take a screenshot and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm waiting for. Let's... Right, so what I've done is I've drawn a couple of lines here and a couple of candles. So this red and white uh, dotted line is what I call the eight exponential moving average. You can go through my learn to read a forex chart where you can learn how to set up your forex chart um, according to my strategy on the screen now is the URL to my uh, to my course and also in the um, comment section is the uh, link to my uh, learn to read a forex chart website okay and my uh, my channel uh, on telegram right so the question is when do we reverse when do we close out the trade that hedge trade so i've drawn what is going what the eight exponential moving average is going to look like 
uh, in the next few candles if it does reverse today or the next day, okay? Just this, this is hypothetical. So as you can see, I've drawn a candle here and the candle did not open above the eight exponential moving average. So that is not the indication that the, tra that the trend has changed, okay? When the when is the when is the correct time when the candle opens above the eight exponential moving average that is when you close your trade out now maybe this hedge over here okay this one over here is not is now in a negative position because the price has trended up okay so as you can see the price trends a little bit up above the 34 and even if it goes a little bit up to there so maybe that this hedge goes into minus 50 or minus 100 even minus 200 it's not serious because you've got all these trades that you're going to make massive profit from so the amount of profit that you're going to make from these open trades is going to far outweigh the little loss that you're about to experience uh, with this hedge that you've placed so just ignore it do not get emotional about it okay so what are we going to do are we going to then reconnect the ea to the chart or are we going to then trade manually and create our own uh, take profit now what i would do in this situation is i would i would move the take profit remove the ea from the chart and take advantage of the full trend of um of the currency so let's look at the chart and you can see where the take profit is the take profit is sitting on the 200 exponential oh, sorry on the 200 moving average now i've moved my moving average to that point over there why because i know from experience that when the currency hits or is very close to the 200 moving average the price returns what seems to retrace and then it can either retrace all the way down as you can see here um, it got very close to the 200 and then it started retracing all the way down so uh, you can see that all along if you go look in the past you can see exactly what i'm talking about so when the price gets very close to the 200 moving average i will then manually log in and then close by swiping from uh, right to left on my phone so let me show you uh, so there you, I hope you can see that so right to left okay and you get your options this is only if you have installed your trader password on your phone if you've only got your investor password on your phone you won't be able to trade on your phone you'll only be able to trade on the VPS okay so and I would I would swipe like that and then I would click on the plus button and then it'll give me an option to close the trade and I'll say yes I agree and then the trade will close and then I will close all these trades in a positive so the the the, the option is okay now some of you your take profits may be uh, let's go to this chart over here and let's right so some of you your take profit let's get a line going here maybe like here so you're going to miss out on the full trend and the growth that you could possibly and, and benefit from so I would then just get involved and trade manually so the, the currency sometimes stops on this line so this this line over here this line uh, this red and white dotted line over here it's purple and white on my h4 chart is actually the 200 moving average on my uh, um, on my h1 chart so let's just uh, um, go and do that quickly is this an h4 right so let's move this let me just move this down to over there okay so i'll enlarge it so it looks like the same on my picture so there we go so there's the two there's the um the 50 moving average on my h4 chart red and white line which is the 200 moving average on an on a uh, on an h1 so there it is there's the same line as you can see and that is a key reversal point so you need to be very careful at that point if it starts to retrace there then i would close out the the trades if you can okay or wait a little bit for it to go north okay so that's how when you would get out of your hedge and stay in the trade to try and benefit from the uh from the full uh the full length of the trade right so you now know how to hedge 
very simple, nothing complicated, nothing to get emotional about. It's just part of trading and uh, you'll, uh, you'll get the hang of it. Don't be afraid of it. It's an amazing tool that's going to assist you to make more profit and protect your capital. As Warren Buffett says, his main rule is protect your asset. Don't lose money. Make profit. Those are the three rules. But the most important rule is to protect your capital at all costs. Do not lose money. Okay. And uh, this is what the hedge does. Now, I just want to show you something amazing, uh, which uh, I'm sure a lot of you aren't aware of. Now, this is called swap fees over here. Now, a swap fee is a fee that is charged to you by the forex company for holding the trade overnight. So for every day that you hold the trade, uh, you, you, you're you going to pay a swap fee. Now, as you can see, my fees are zero. I've had this trade since the first or the 16th of January 2020, and there are no swap fees. So how did I do that? It is a an arrangement that I have with my broker uh, that allows us not to have tra um, these swap fees. Now, if you want to take advantage of this, then you need to sign up with my broker using this link. Now, if you have signed up with, the, with my broker and uh, you... Um, still have swap fees just whatsapp me and i will help you um and we will guide you to get your swap fees removed the the, the link is flashing on the screen and also in the um the information section of the video on youtube is my link to the broker and uh, you can just whatsapp me here is my whatsapp number just whatsapp me and i will then assist you to remove your swap fees uh, which is uh, just an amazing benefit of being part of my RB structure. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next videos. You know that I'm gonna do it, right?